I'm Kimberly Desiree, and welcome to my Q&A. Today's question comes in from Totally Had It. Dear Desiree, I've totally had it. Today I was looking for a web link to a product that I wanted to purchase and could not find it at all. I wound up having to contact the site to purchase these items that I wish to buy because of the issue I was having in my life. My dilemma is simple, I guess. I've just had it with all the spiritual stuff. I'm frustrated and angry with myself because most of my life is just not working out as I hoped. I have tried the spiritual path, healing sessions here and there, forgiveness, releasing blocks, energy healings with psychics, hypnosis, as well as other methods, and all I've managed to do is accomplish in the past 20 years is being continued being broke. Unhappy and totally angry and frustrated. What makes it worse is when I think of all the money I have spent on these things that would, have, would be or would have been even more helpful to me. I become more frustrated and angry. Do you have any advice for me? Totally had it. Wow, that's a lot in there. Thank you for your question. Um, well, first of all, um, I suggest that you stop purchasing anything else. <laughs> you don't need any more of this stuff. I feel as though intuitively tuning in, um, I feel as though that you are trying to control your outcome. And that is probably the biggest block in your life right now. Just from reading this and picking up the energy from what you wrote, um, I definitely feel that you're one of these people that is trying to control your outcome and that never works. The more we try to control something, the more we push it away. And I know you've probably heard that before because I'm assuming with all of the sessions and work that you've done with all these spiritual people and workshops and et cetera, that you've heard that. And I can say from my own experience that that is absolutely 100% true. When we try to control something, we do not get the result we want. In fact, we get exactly what's happening to you. We get angry, we get frustrated, we get ticked off, we don't want to work on our spiritual path, we walk away from everybody, we tend to blame everyone and everything for not getting what we want. So my feeling is that that is like the big, the big one right there. So my recommendation would be to surrender. You need to surrender and trust that something greater than yourself has a plan for you. You need to get in a space where you're able to co-create your life according to what the divine has for you. That means stepping out of the way. Get out of your own way. You need to tune in. I know that you're awake and aware because you, you definitely have um, been involved with the spiritual path. We are mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional beings. And when any of these things are out of balance, we end up with a lot of problems, and especially what you're talking about here. So my thought would be to spend time in meditation, being alone, in connecting with your higher self. Because that's the place you need to be. That's the place that's going to give you all the answers. That's your connection to everything that is. There is a plan for all of us. We all have gifts. We all are here to serve a purpose. But when we're distracted by chasing the next big thing, buying the next thing that's advertised, trying to attain what everybody else is doing, we are only going to get frustrated. We are going to spend a lot of money and be broke, and we're going to be beating ourselves up. And that sounds like what's happening with you. I know it happened to me in the beginning. When I woke up spiritually, I wanted to help everybody. I thought I knew exactly what I was going to be doing with the rest of my life. Well, guess what? It didn't happen. I was chasing a dream. I thought I was going to own a metaphysical store and do readings and sell books and hold you know, gatherings. And the more I tried to push that door open, the more my world fell apart. The doors didn't open. I was frustrated. I was angry until I finally realized Maybe I'm knocking on the wrong door. Maybe there's something else in store for me. And the only way that I could be open to do the work that I'm doing now was to surrender and to sit back and ask the universe, ask God, ask your higher self, your guides, whoever it is that you connect with, why am I here and what is my purpose? And what is it that I have to learn? Because what we have to give 
is the thing that we learn. What are your biggest obstacles? What is it that you've had to overcome in this lifetime? Could it be possibly all of these things that you've tried and that you've got to a certain point and gave up? What lessons have you learned from all of these things you've tried to accomplish? Do you know where the cutoff was? In taking these courses, working with these healing sessions, working um, with all of it, where did the cutoff happen? Where was it that you gave up on yourself? Because I feel like that's probably one of the places you should be looking at. You know, I had a problem getting to the finish line. I would go so far and I would just give up. And I realized that part of me somewhere in time was stuck. There was a file of me who would get to that finish line and stop and give up. And I had to do a lot of inner work in order to find that part of myself. And believe it or not, one of the instances was when I was trying out for cheerleading when I was a teenager. I went and you know, tried out. I wanted to be a cheerleader. I didn't tell anybody that I was going to do it. And I didn't make it. And the girls that were there were mean. They were laughing and snickering. And I gave up halfway through the audition. And I felt about this big. And I had nobody there to support me. And I felt like a failure. And I gave up on myself in that moment. And I carried that with me for years. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't go home. I didn't have any support for anybody to encourage me to try again. And I gave up. So I think that maybe you should be looking at areas um, where you've had all these courses and opportunities. Where did you stop? Where, where did you give up? Because that is one of the things you need to heal. And when you can go back and work through that, then you're going to know more about what it is you're supposed to do. Because we have to heal first. In order to help other people, we need to heal ourselves. And there's many, many layers of things within us that we need to heal. We think we've conquered one thing, but there's deeper and deeper layers. So it's all about clearing. It's clearing. It's working through the chakra system. It's working through all of those blocks, all of the experiences, past life, present life. So my suggestion would be to stop buying things. You don't need to buy another thing. I would say do the work. Go inward. Look at the patterns. Look at where you've stopped, where you gave up. Look at the frustration. Write about it. Write about the things that have happened. Write about where you are, how you're feeling. Look at the similar things that have happened. Start to put together a pattern and go backwards. Look at the blocks. Where did this come from? Where did you give up? Because somewhere in your life, you gave up on yourself, I feel, intuitively. So if you can find that part of yourself, then I suggest working with somebody who can help you heal through that. I know I did a lot of work with healers myself. I read books, and then once I started to learn how to take things like this full circle, I'm able to do it myself. So, you know, find somebody who can teach you. There's some really good books out there. I know that one of the books that I read was How to Heal Your Heart and Soul by Michael Merdad. He was one of my biggest um, inspirations, and that's a fantastic book. Maybe you want to read that. Um, you know, maybe you want to, um, you know, speak to somebody that you can have a session with that can help you take this full circle. But don't give up on yourself. Find out what's going on. Do the work, and then when you've taken it full circle, you'll be able to help other people. So, you know, you bought all these packages and coaching programs and videos and whatever. You have them. When you're ready, you're going to pull them back out, and you're going to be able to get something out of them. So do the work on yourself. Work on finding those parts of yourself that are stuck in time. Work with a coach or somebody who can help you do it. And don't give up. That's the last thing you want to do is give up because you are meant to do something. We all are meant to do something. So please take that advice and um, you know, finish this journey. Don't give up. Okay, thank you. And if you have any questions, anyone, and you want to send them to me, at the end of this video, you can find my website and my email address. So send me your questions to the website on my Talk To Me page. And I look forward to hearing from you. And until the next time, be extraordinary.